So it's, I think you're a visionary. The fact that you're uh, linking yourself with European white people, you know, I've said it, the W word, white people, who are struggling to survive, not to dominate anybody, just struggling to survive in their ethnic homeland is a very wise move. I say no more, no more brothers wars. And I think you're also ahead of the curve because what's the point of talking to just milk toast Protestants, the sort of Anglican types? They, they've got, they won't make any difference about United Ireland or not. You have to speak to the hardcore. Loyalists in Belfast, for example, how do they deal with mass immigration from Africa and the Middle East? By, by the papers there, uh, during the last couple of days there's been two houses set in fire, um, five or six um, paint bombed. A couple of years ago there was 118 Romanians burnt out. Um, East Belfast a few couple of years ago they built 13 new houses for people. People were waiting on them, they moved Africans into every single one of them. The women in the district protested peacefully for weeks. Nothing happened and then some happened in the middle of the night. A load of people turned up with masks, threw them all out the street, set fire them. That's how loyalists deal with My international audience, which I believe is much bigger than my Irish audience, which says everything, which says everything. I have more subscribers from America than I do from this sleepy little backwater. That's the reality and the UK. That is how anaesthetized our people are, that we have more support Rowan in America and in the UK and in Australia. They're the people who contact me. They are the people who has the sleeping Irish walk to their death. We're separated by something superficial, by a religion, Catholicism, which isn't really adhered to now in the South. Only 10% of people go to church. Um, and the politics, the politicians have milked it for their own end. But uh, we need to come together again as the British Isles, because we have new threats now, new threats to our actual existence, you know, the tides of immigration that are coming in, especially from the Islamic world, that's the real threat. It's no longer about Catholic and Protestant, Ireland and Britain. We have a real enemy that threatens us all, and we've got to come together as family, which is what we are again, to defend the British Isles, the 6,000 islands of our archipelago. In the heart of Dublin, As you said, uh, Gemma, it, it will involve uh, mass deportations. These people that are these uh, this foreign horde that's, that's, that's overrunning the country have to be uh, removed.
because there's something I've put together this morning. I'm glad Grand Torino came in. Grand, you were in the Irish military, correct? Oh, the British military. British military. Okay, I see.